<sighs> Greetings, Got a Gold here, back again at another video. Now, this is going to be a um, kind of a complaint video, I guess, but it's not all about that. It's uh, it's mainly describing what is going on with the recently released game, Victoria Three. Now, as many of you have known that. It came out October 25th, and it was very promising of a game, as far as I know. And overall, the graphics and some of the mechanics, some, look amazing. But this game, as of recently, on Steam, got mixed general reviews. The reason being is because there are people, such as myself, who are going on there and trying to actually make a decent mod. More specifically, I'm trying to make the a Newer World Order mod, which is a modern day mod, and it's not going all that well. I expected the game to at least incorporate better mechanics. In terms of like political stuff, like a pie chart or something, like it, it used to have. Even Hoi 4, Hearts of Iron 4, for those of you who don't know, had pie charts in terms of ideologies. Not to mention, those games, Victory 3 and Hearts of Iron 4, were by far way easier to mod than this. Even Crusader Kings 3 was decent. But for some reason, a game like this comes along, and I just had this happen to me at least a, like a handful of times. Whenever I'm trying to edit a map, all it does is break down. It not only breaks down the game, but it also breaks down my PC. What I mean by that is it uses so much RAM per second that... It goes way beyond what should be needed. And it's unstable. And yes, I know it's just recently released, but that is heavily inexcusable charging 50 bucks for a game that you can't mod. And there's only two ways of knowing of like the modding like um the states like you can only there's only two known ways to edit stuff like that like you can't even the best i could have done with this is i made the base files i made certain gfx stuff and loading screens as well as editing the already uh pre-existing map you know to meet the modern day standards for the mod but nope this game every time you press certain buttons it crashes just now uh i restarted my pc only to find out that like prior that there was a loud buzzing noise coming from my pc's audio now i thought it was nothing at first until i realized it used so much processing it broke it it broke everything i can run hearts of iron 4 way better than this piece of crap game now granted the graphics and the design are amazing and i did follow the tutorials and the military stuff the political stuff and the economic stuff as well as these intense bugs it is just not ready I have a bad feeling that they either released it too soon, or they just simply did it so that, you know, th th there's nothing. Like, how can I mod a game that is this broken? And Paradox, if you're listening to this and watching this, please, if you want this game to continue, or if you re-release it in the future, please fix it this game i i want to like it i really do but there's certain things that is holding me back from doing so 
and this is ridiculous. 50 bucks wasted, and I don't even think I can get it back. Unbelievable. Well, anyways, just be warned, if you guys are getting this game and you want to try it out, go ahead, you know, at, at your own leisure. But if you're here to mod it, stay away from this thing, at least until it gets better. Because right now, I am very displeased at the fact that they, they charge such a price tag, and yet there's no balancing, and it's supposed to simulate, you know, more productivity, which I don't mind, but it needs proper fixing. Like, the military stuff, it needs to go back to the Victoria 2 uh, types of settings. Honestly, those mechanics were way easier back then. Now that this game came out, it's daunting new players, and yes, I was even worried of playing it the first time, and I even got stumbled. That is, this game is amazingly conflicted. It has so much potential, but it doesn't use it. It's ridiculous. So, if you're here to mod it, just, just don't even bother. S save your cash. I'd give this game, though, if I had rated it, I previously, when I first started it, I rated it as at a 6 out of 10, which now, because I can't even mod the thing, and because of how broken and imbalanced it is, I am now giving it a rating of 4.5 out of 10. The only things that are saving it is the graphics, in the design as well as the map itself it does look good but it is just incomprehensible to how much of a mess they released with this game and they should not have released it if it was in this condition and like i said paradox if you're listening to this please get this fixed this is ridiculous i can't even mod this game there's no tool. There's not even a nudger, I forgot to mention. Hoi4 had one. Why don't they just do it for here? It's so simple. <sighs> Have a good day.